Hey, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now today's video I'll be talking about a mod literally nobody cares about, but I think it's pretty awesome. That's a camera mod. Look, nobody asked for this tutorial, but I'm still gonna explain how to install it, and more importantly, how to actually use the mod, like create the camera, the frame, change camera settings and stuff like that. Now this mod goes great with Pixelmon, especially if you're doing one of these 100 Minecraft day challenges that everybody does with you and your friends. The camera mod can make it a little bit more interesting. Don't do it, Sachi. Do not kill yourself. Do not jump, please. I'll take a picture. Before I get started, I want to mention I'll be hosting a competition on my Discord server to give away some cool Pokemon stuff, most likely sealed Pokemon cards for the best free pictures taken using the mod that you post on my Discord server, of course. And to be fair, I'll have the community vote on it to pick the best ones instead of me just picking it. As always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to it. And just to mention it real quickly to install, you're gonna to wanna to go to curseforge.com and search camera mod. Use the link I've attached below in the descriptions. Once you've downloaded the file, place it in your mods folder and you should be good to go as long as you have Forge. Now let's get to the good stuff and explain what the heck the camera mod is and how to even use it. All right, so I'm in my little camera town where I'm gonna explain how to use the camera mod and explain the settings. Okay, in this little uh, grand hole of mine, I got all these items posted to show you how to create cameras and stuff like that. Okay, so in my hand, I have a camera. I also have in my inventory an image frame. I'm gonna explain exactly what those are and how to make them. So starting off the camera right here, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six little iron bars. You got this uh, little button, you have some redstone powder and you have a glass panel. Put them in your crafting table just like this and you'll get yourself a camera. The next thing is a frame and I'll explain what that is in a bit, but to make it you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sticks, string and some leather. And then finally, the last thing to explain how to make is this photo album and you're gonna need one, two, three pieces of paper, string and some leather and you're gonna wanna organize it just like this in your crafting table and you will get yourself a album frame. Okay, so let's explain what everything is. All right, so uh, let's explain how to take pictures first. The first thing is taking pictures. We have a little Chikorita here. If I right click the camera, I could zoom in, zoom out with the scroll wheel, and then I can left click and take a picture. And you're gonna need a paper. Every time you click uh, with the camera, you'll lose a piece of paper, but you will get an image. So this image right here, I right click, and there's my Chikorita just kind of looking at that little lamp. Okay, cool. Let's explain what else we got. If you shift right click, so you can hold shift and right click with the camera on like this, shift right click, you'll get a setting for filters. You have different settings, so here you can go inverted. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, whoa, that is pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna take a picture right here. Cool, and then let's look at that image, and it looks like that. Okay, so go back to the camera, shift, you got uh, blurry, you got overexposed, oversaturated, uh, black, let's go to black and white. This one's probably pretty cool. Look at that, so you get a little black and white picture. This guy's ramming me. Take a picture of that guy, let's let's check him out. Okay, cool, so that's pretty cool. Go back to this, shift right click. Last one I'm gonna do is oversaturated. What does this look like? And that looks actually pretty awesome. I like that, that's pretty bright and cool. All right, so the next thing I wanna explain is how to use a frame. We just took four images, so if I place a frame right here, I get one little frame. Okay, and if I place a frame right here, I also get one little frame. Um, now you can resize your frames. I'm gonna just go ahead and click shift, right click, and I'm gonna get a resize frame option. And if I click up, it's gonna make uh, my thing one pixel higher, or one kind of block higher. And I can go ahead and I can, uh, let's go ahead and shift right click again, because I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna click left this time. And, and then actually also right, and you'll see it made it much, much bigger, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this image of my Chikorita and place it in. It'll be very, very large right there. I'll take this image of, I don't even remember, oh, the inverted thing, and it'll be very small, okay? And if you wanna change the size after you put the image, you can still do that. You just go ahead and click shift, right click, and I'm gonna go left here, and you'll see that it made the image slightly larger. And now finally, I'll explain how to use this little photo album right here. So if you go ahead and uh, left click it, it does nothing. If you right click it, you can see through your images, okay? But if you shift right click, I mean, this is this is kind of how to use the camera mod. You just shift to right click to get into setting modes. If you shift right click, you get this kind of um, inventory of images. These are all the images in my photo album. And if I add the ones I just took to the very end, you will see they will show up at the very end. Now, I will take this last thing I took with the black and white Chikorita and I'll actually put that at the front so you can see that the order actually matters. At least I think it does. Go to this album and then right click and you'll see the Chikorita is the first image and then scrolling through all these other images, the inverted being kind of at the end and just like that. So that's how you use the photo album. Like I said, uh, I will be hosting a competition on my Discord. Be sure to post some pictures up there if you want a chance to win some cool Pokemon stuff. I'll be giving out to my communities. Okay, go out there, find some cool Pokemon and 
take some pictures. Hope you learned something. As always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.